Buying a home is a complex, stressful process. So we're gonna talk about the process of buying that home in six easy, simple steps. You wanna make sure that you're prepared for the opportunity. Let me explain. If you go look for homes and you're not pre-approved and you don't know what your payment or your rate or your closing costs, you're basically flying blind. You just don't know at all what it actually means on a daily basis in terms of your finances. So you wanna make sure you're prepared. Don't get your family in the car. Don't go look at homes until you're like, hey, I wanna know exactly what I'm pre-qualified for. So you're gonna wanna talk to a mortgage professional. You can even go online and get basic rates, principles, Zillow, Redfin, our site at Active Realty does it. Uh, so many resources out there for you to be able to at least ballpark what your payment's gonna be. And just like when you go search for a car, you know what you're pre-approved for, you definitely wanna make sure you have the same ammo and education and information when buying a home. I'm a little biased on this one. You wanna find a great real estate agent. So what makes a good real estate agent? One, obviously experience. Two, local knowledge. Three, you wanna make sure there's actually a connection there. There's a lot of great agents out there and the fact is there's a ton of agents in general. You wanna make sure that the person you actually get introduced with as your real estate agent follows you all the way through. So A to Z, you wanna make sure that you're not telling your story to multiple different agents and multiple different places. You wanna open up and really say your why and get set with someone who truly is going to be vested in you and your success. Searching for the home. Now's the time that you get to look at the neighborhoods, the schools, the amenity, the areas. Find out what neighborhoods that resonate most with you and make sure you don't just go to the first one. It might be a great fit, but I personally have purchased homes where I went to the first neighborhood and that was it. I bought it and I went back to work. And then later I was like, oh, that would have been another great option over here. Or this one maybe was a little bit less expensive. So at least give yourself the chance to know all your options, get all the information. So when you do pull the trigger, you find the best, right, most perfect house for you. You get to prepare to make your offer. Now you're gonna make sure that you're aligning what it is, the property that you're looking for. See if there's multiple offers. See if you're maybe the only one. Make sure you get the story of the seller. You know, has there been updates and upgrades and remodels to the house? Or is there a ton of deferred maintenance and you're gonna to have to walk in the door to do a lot of work yourself? You wanna make sure you're preparing the offer that most suits the property that you're looking for in the condition that it's in. One of the most stressful parts of buying a house, getting your home inspection. There's gonna be a lot of things that you have to do, but you wanna make sure that you get that home inspection. Even if it's being sold as is, you wanna make sure that you have proper disclosure and you know exactly what you're gonna buy. So when it comes to the roof, things you don't see, the plumbing, the foundation, you wanna make sure that you hire someone that's a good inspector, very thorough, and you're gonna review before you pull the trigger and buy that house. And the final step, is closing on your new home. If everything worked out, if all the smell tests, if you've negotiated through all the items that you've gone through escrow, now it's time to do the fun part. Get the keys to your home, close on your home, review your mortgage paperwork, know when your payments are gonna come up. Sometimes there's actually a little grace period when your first payment becomes due. Then, like a lot of homeowners, they don't realize that their taxes are sometimes supplemental and due at different times and not included in their mortgage payment. So what you wanna do is just make sure you have utilities figured out. Make sure you know what you're gonna do in terms of your internet, your cable service provider. If you're streaming, whatever it is, have that thing so you can concentrate on moving your stuff in and enjoying your new home. Congratulations. Follow us for more tips. If you found value in the video, comment below. We'd love to hear from you. If there's more topics or maybe something that we wanna dive a little bit more deep into and explore, we'd love to continue to bring more value to you. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon.